Hi guys, welcome back. If you're then watching some new subbies, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of the essentials that you'll need for applying acrylics. I am also going to be actually showing you what I use aside from the actual essentials. So let's get started. To start off, we are going to be needing um, hand sanitizer. I usually apply this for, on my clients before an application as well as on myself. If I am not using hand sanitizer, I do have my client go and wash her hands as well as my hands using antibacterial soap. Another thing that you'll need is polish remover. You are going to need this if your client has nail polish, so it's always good to have this handy. <clears throat> now um, I do use alcohol. I have this in the same little container and I have it labeled. I do use this for when I am doing the Sharpie Marble effect. Or if I have a taco that has a tacky layer, I do like to use this as well. And we are going to be needing pure acetone. You always want to have this and, uh, handy um, for when you uh, want to remove your acrylics or your client's acrylics. It's really good to have just pure acetone uh, laying around. Another thing you're going to need is um, antibacterial cleansing spray. I do have this ASP one and it is for the nails and for the tools as well. So I usually spray this on my client after I uh, apply hand sanitizer on them. I spray this before I push back the cuticles. I also spray this on my implement before using them. For example, the cuticle pusher, I spray it on the cuticle pusher on the side. So I spray this both sides um, before using it. So it's really good to have this handy. Another thing you'll need are cuticle. Oh, well, you don't. You won't need these, but it's good to. I mean, I like to have them handy because, like, uh, for instance, you can see like little skin hanging off, and I also like to bite my nails on the side sometimes, and I'll have little skin dangling. And you don't want those pieces of skin laying on top of your nail bed when you lay acrylic because it will cause lifting. You will also need some nail clippers and that's to clip your nails if they're too long or if they're long in general. You are going to need, this is, you don't really necessarily need this, but I like to use it. And this is a cuticle remover from Mia Secret. I like to use this because I do get a lot of cuticle on my nail bed and it's easier for me to remove it. A lot of people say that it causes lifting for me, it really hasn't. I've been using it since I started practicing with nails and I do it on myself and my clients and I've never really gotten any lifting from it so I still use it. You are going to need a cuticle pusher. I use this one. You don't specifically have to use this one but this is the one that I use. I, uh, I put the cuticle remover on my nail, let it sit for like a couple seconds and then I go in and push back my cuticles and with the opposite end I remove it. <clears throat> Next, you are going to need a file or a sanding band um, you for, to file the, the shine off your natural nail. You are going to want to use a higher, uh, a low grit. And for the low grits, you will want to get the 180 grit or the bigger, a bigger number like a 200 grit. Uh, the bigger the grit, the less coarse it is. The smaller the, the number, uh, the more coarse it will be. This the, the coarser the file is, you will usually use that only for, not usually, you will only use that for just your acrylics. So yeah, I would really recommend like a 100, 180, that way you have both. You will have one, the one side for your acrylics and the other side for your natural nails. Now I usually... For me, I usually use a sanding. I use my e-drill, my electric drill, or my e-file, um, and so I have different uh, sanding bands. I have one, uh, one 180, and I also have an 80 grit and a 200 grit, so I just have different uh, grits of sanding bands. So once you're done buffing off your nail, you are going to have a little bit of dust. So you are going to need a brush. And I have these two. This one, I you know, you just use it like that. And this one's a softer one. So you will need a brush to dust off your the, the filings. 
when you go to remove the shine or when you're filing off or shaping your acrylics. You're also going to need um, a cotton pad. I use this for when I remove acrylics to use for my pure acetone. And you are going to need some lint-free wipes. Um, I've got these off of eBay. They weren't the greatest, so I'm waiting for a new order to come in. So I also, in the meanwhile that my order comes in, I just cut up some kitchen towels. Some paper towels, and uh, this works fine, so I've been using this for now. Next you're going to need is nail glue. Uh, there are different types of nail glue. I've used the Bondini nail glue. That one is uh, quite expensive, or at least for me it is. It's about $10. And it did work really well, but the lid kept getting stuck, so I just stopped using it in general. Um, I do also have a KDS nail glue. I've tried that as well. It didn't work for me. I don't know if it was just that specific batch, but I... I didn't like it. My nails kept popping off when I would go file, so I stopped using it. And I bought this one recently, and I got it off of Eevee for a dollar fifty-nine. And this one works really well. It comes in a packet of five, in a pack of five. So I thought that was very cool and expensive, and it works really well. Next thing you'll need are some tips. I have different kinds. I really love the shape of this. Of this kind, it is. Um, it has a very deep C curve. And it's like almost looks like it's pinched and um, I really love those so there are those and if you want them coffee you can just cut the tip the tip off and I'll give you your coffee sheet I also have um, some regular ones from eBay same thing I like my nails coffin shape so I just cut off the tip but recently I've been using my um, I've been using square tips just because um, I do like, I've been liking them a lot, just like a tapered square instead of just a coffin or a ballerina. <clears throat> now I do like the ones without a well. I don't know why, and I do like them very, very thin. They work well for me. These aren't very, very thin. As you can see, I can't really bend it besides just the, in the back a little bit. And this is not as flimsy, but I just put my nail tip and then I just slightly with the straight edged nail clipper I just clip the sides of it a little bit just because I don't want them too um, too narrow <clears throat> so after you apply your tips you are going to need your nail tip cutters and usually you, know, you can you just cut the depending on what length you want you just cut it you can also use your straight edge clippers for that as well. And also, if you want to, like for instance, when I grab, when I use my, um, the square tips, you can just, the same, same way you would use your clippers, you just cut off the sides of it a little bit. On both sides if you want it, uh, a coffin. Now, if you want a stiletto, you go in a little bit more and you cut slanted, and then with your file, you go back in with your file and you perfect the shape. <clears throat> so, after you're done applying your tips, you are going to need your dehydrator and your primer. Now, this is the set that I use. It doesn't, it's not a matching set. I use a Mia Secret Nail Prep and the No Lift Nails from Sally's Primer. And I found these work really well for me, so I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sticking to these. I do want to mention that when you are applying your dehydrator and your primer, I usually do, or I really recommend you doing, is you apply two coats of the dehydrator and two coats of the primer. Next you'll need is a dappen dish. I usually don't recommend keeping a jar unless it's just for yourself, for your, only your, you know, just for yourself. Um, if you're going to be doing it on clients, I really recommend you getting a little dappen dish. Just because you don't want to store that mo leftover monomer so you don't contaminate other people's nails. Next you'll need is some monomer. Um, you don't necessarily need this bottle that I have here. I usually, I bought this bottle off of eBay a while ago and um, I usually pour my monomer in here. 
and it's just because it's a lot easier to just to pour into my little dappin dish. Now next you'll need is some acrylic powder or some polymer. Um, you will definitely need your clear acrylic and that's just because you can do different things with this. You can make, if you want just a very simple French tip, you can get a white, um, a white nail tip, apply it and use your clear to build your nail and it's also very, very strong. Also, I like to use this for when I am um, making my own colored acrylic. I like to make my own colored acrylic instead of buying it. I have, I do have a lot, uh, not a lot, but like various collections from Mia Secret as well as Fantasy Nails. I do like both of them, so I stuck with that. Now, I do not recommend those China kit acrylics that you find on eBay that are very, very cheap. Um, they do, a lot of those do contain, contain MMA and it is MMA is usually for dental grade, not for applying acrylics. So just be very, very careful with that. I really recommend Mia Secret. It is very inexpensive and easy to use. A lot of people do see that it's runny and it's not necessarily runny for me. It all just all depends on how, um, on what your ratio, your monomer to powder ratio is. So just be careful. You make sure you don't get a really wet bead because it will be runny. Now, if you get a dry bead, it's going to be, you're not going to be able to work with it. So just, you know, keep that in mind to your monomer to powder ratio. I also, you don't need this, but I like to have a little container, a glass container, just to be easy to use when I am, I'm applying acrylics. So now after you apply your acrylics, you are going to need to file them. And I usually use my drill, my uh, electric, your, my e-file. You can use your file, but I just, I don't know, I just like my drill. I don't necessarily like the handle of this one because it doesn't lock or unlock. Uh, so, but I still like it and it's worked well for me. I've had it for a while now and, and so far, knock on wood, it hasn't um, stopped working. <clears throat> After you're done filing your nails, obviously you're gonna clean them and um, buff, whoops. You're gonna need a buffer, a buffing block to file all or to buff out those harsh lines from your file. Once you're done with that, you are going to need your base coat and your top coat. Unless you want it matte, you can just buy your gel uh, matte top coat. Um, you do apply your base coat, your cure, and your UV lamp. You are gonna need a UV lamp for when you apply your top, your gel top coat. So you do need that as well. I it's stuck over there, but I really don't want to unplug it and bring it in. But you will you will need a UV lamp and your base and top coat. Now you don't necessarily need this, but I do recommend it. I got this off of eBay. It wasn't expensive at all. I think it was about a dollar fifty something. I think. And here is your wax pencil, your uh, crystal picker upper. And with this side, you pick up your tools. It is a wax. And now with this side, you just move it around. <clears throat> now, once again, you don't need this, but I like to use it. I usually put this on every set that I have. You are going to need some crystals. And this little container um, where I have my crystals in, I bought it at the 99 cents store a while ago. I don't know if they have any more. I haven't really seen any, so. But... You're going to want some crystals if you like bling. <clears throat> and now, um, if you are going to be using um, gel polish or regular polish, I do recommend you getting a little brush. I got this at the Dollar Tree, and this I usually use it to, you know, wipe the sides of, off of it with some polish remover. If I'm using gel polish, I use alcohol. And last but not least, you are going to need cuticle oil. You do want to apply cuticle to your cuticle area, and I like to apply it underneath my nails on this little part on the skin right here, um, just because just because my nails get really, or my your cuticles will get a little bit dehydrated, and you want to hydrate them, so it's really good to keep your cuticle oil on hand. So that is it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you guys until next time. Bye.